All right, we're gonna go ahead and test out making a piston thing here like I've got. There we go, okay. Then we need to set up a clock. All right, so basically just have an observer looking at the torch here. And that's it. That's that's the the hub. So that's the first thing to be triggered. So then you've got whatever pattern you're going from from there. You've got let's say we're going out four and it's five in each direction. So the redstone torch is going to turn on or off every time this goes, which will trigger the first observer. These other observers are looking at it, which means they're going to they're going to trigger off of that and then it just cascades outward. So, just to do something different from what I've already done, we're gonna do something that spirals inward each time. So you have each new observer that you place facing the last one. It doesn't matter that the arrows look like they're pointing that way, their output redstone signal isn't going to trigger anything. So it's kind of irrelevant. Um, the observers are only getting triggered by the blocks they're facing. So do that. Same thing here. So the idea is you have this whole field of observers that will trigger on in sequence, however you've got it lined up. In this case, I'm doing spirals, but could just be pulsating out from the center. Um, you could have these branches and then just run off to the side from there. And that was the first one I made. It just starts at the center and just undulates out from there. And because it, we're using observers, they're only sending a short pulse, meaning the sticky pistons will drop the block, so it'll alternate between the whole floor being raised and the whole floor coming back down, which is kind of cool. It could be set up differently, probably to make it work differently to where it will raise and then lower the floor, but this works fine. And this is pretty straightforward to wire up if it is a bit expensive, considering you have two observers per thing. So you get your pattern placed down here and then you just line the entire, entire top with uh, observers. So all these observers on top are going to be looking at the pattern that we've built down below and then based on the um, based on that pattern then these observers above will also activate and they will trigger the pistons above them. And then it's just a matter of laying these and laying a big string of pistons up above. So that's pretty much all there is to it. I'll show you how this looks without the pistons so you can see the activation. And then go from there. So you can see the observers activating in series because of the observers below triggering them. And that's all there is to it. I'll show you the first one I did, which is really straightforward. Just goes up from the center. And then when it comes back around again, it pulls everything back down. And ah, one more time. So it's pretty cool. That one's pretty straightforward, though. Um, there's a longer one here that uh, does a spiral out from the center. That takes a bit too long to activate, though. You have to have a really long timer or have it so that you manually toggle it. Or you can set it up on a short clock and have a constantly adjusting floor. The other application for this type of a build would be 
if you wanted uh, some sort of large scale lighting to, I don't know, let's say do a rotating like loading cursor, you could just replace the pistons with redstone lamps and get a similar effect. So this here doesn't seem exact. Oh no, this is a little bit different, but I'll go ahead and show you how this one works just as a example. Similar to what I just built, except it's separated into sets of two rows. So it goes out from the center and then splits off and curls back in to finish it up. Looks kind of cool, but uh, not exactly practical. So let me kill this pulse here. And uh, I'll put all these pistons on and we'll we'll build it from there. For the others I built over there, I used Bling Edit to clone elements of it instead of building them all from scratch. And didn't do that here for the sake of demonstration. So start at the center. Actually, I've got an idea here. Let's uh, maybe not do that. Just because of the pattern that would end up being created. Not in good taste. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's just go back towards dark. And back towards light. Something like that. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Okay. That actually has a nice look to it. I like that. Now if we trigger this here, we'll be able to see it go out and spiral inward. Yeah, that looks really nice. So, this wouldn't be something you'd set up on a clock in most use cases. You'd probably have it set up to where press a button and toggle it or something of that nature. Cancel that out. So, <clears throat> let me go ahead and copy this over real quick. And we'll try it using the, instead of torch, it, or pistons rather, we'll do, we'll do something different. That's good. All right. So on top of here, we'll get some lamps. Run that through. Oh, that. Oh, that is not what I expected, but that actually looks really cool. Very nice. Very nice. I. I might have to build something like this in, uh, in survival. That's really neat. Yeah, so you can do some pretty cool stuff with these sort of observer pattern with observers looking at them. The limitation of this current design is that everything has to be linked up in, in series somehow, or parallel, or what have you. So you can't selectively activate just this just a few lamps here and there, it has to be pulsating out from the center point. Or you could have four different points that are being triggered by the clock, so it could be coming out of a few different points and spreading from there. But the point is, whatever your focal points are has to emanate from there and trigger the whole thing, or whatever you need to be triggered in that manner. So. This has some limitations and is kind of expensive to build since you need so many observers. You wouldn't be able to use this for a large scale construction, but it certainly is pretty. It looks really great. So I'm happy with it. Quite entertaining to watch. I would possibly build something like this on the ceiling of a, a large construction. Maybe slow it down in some way so it's not or make it less flashy so it's not as 
exhausting to look at. Eventually, you'd get tired of looking at that every day. But, anyway. Yeah, that's that. Those are some observer based platform adjusters or lighting configurations. Simple, but pretty neat. So, anyway, see ya.